Good evening, scholars and friends. It's time for tonight's bedtime story. Tonight, I will be reading Curly Locks and the Three Pink Pandas, told by Yolanda King and pictures by Fanny Liam. Once there was a little girl with super curly hair named Curly Locks. She lived with her family in a tiny town next to the tallest forest. Saturday was pancake day and mom asked Curly Locks to pick blueberries for breakfast. Remember to only pick berries near the fence warned mom. A flutter of butterflies kept her company as she picked the berries. When her new friends began flying away, Curly Locks followed them through the forest. She and the butterflies danced around a triple twisted oak and hopped on rocks across a tiny stream. Once they crossed the stream, Curly Locks looked around. The fence was nowhere in sight. She had gone too far. Which way is home, she wondered. She felt like crying. Nearby, in a pretty yellow cottage, lived a family of three pink pandas. There was Papa Panda, Mama Panda, and a wee baby panda called Pumpkin. That morning, Mama Panda made a steaming pot of oatmeal with maple syrup and G. Papa Panda tasted the oatmeal and said, Mama, this oatmeal is fantabulous, but it's too hot. Let's look for ladybugs while the oatmeal cools. Curly Locks noticed the pretty yellow cottage just after the pandas walked into the woods. She ran to the cottage door and gave three quick knocks. No one answered, but the door swung slowly open. The smell of oatmeal tickled her nose and Curly Locks quickly forgot mom's warning not to enter a stranger's house. She grabbed a spoon and tasted the big bowl. Oh my, this bowl is too sweet. She tasted the medium bowl and said, oh no, this is too salty. She tasted the little bowl and licked her lips. This is just right, she said, and ate every bite. With a full tummy, Curly Locks began exploring the cottage. She passed a large silver mirror and a shelf with three wooden combs. She saw that her super curls were super tangled. She tried the biggest comb. Whoa, these teeth are too loose, she said. She tried the medium comb and said, ouchie, these teeth are too tight. At last, she tried the little comb and said, this comb is just right. She started untangling her curly locks with such speed and joy that the small wooden comb broke in half. With a happy tummy and curly hair back in place, a sleepy curly locks continued exploring. She found the pandas three beds. She quickly hopped off the large bed because it was too scratchy. 
She slid off the medium bed because it was too silky. She rested on the little panda's bed and said, aha, this bed is just right. Soon she was asleep. When the three pink pandas returned home, they were ravenous. Papa Panda growled, someone's been eating my oatmeal. Mama Panda fussed, someone's been eating my oatmeal. Pumpkin Panda cried, someone's been eating my oatmeal and they've eaten it all up. Papa Panda looked toward the mirror and saw the family combs had been moved. Someone's been using my comb, growled Papa Panda. Someone's been using my comb, fussed Mama Panda. Someone's been using my comb and now it's broken, Pumpkin Panda cried. The three pandas were annoyed as they went upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Papa Panda. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, fussed Mama Panda. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Pumpkin Panda, and she's still snoring on my pillow. Just then, Curly Locks woke up and saw the three pink pandas. She let out an eek hopped out of bed and dashed for the open door. Curly Locks leaped over the rocks in the stream, zoomed past the triple twisted oak and ran all the way home. When she calmed down, she told her parents all about the panda's house. Together, they went to apologize to the pumpkin panda family. I'm really sorry for breaking your comb, Curly Locks said to pumpkin panda. Curly Locks brought pumpkin a new comb and helped clean the bedroom. Then, both families enjoyed a breakfast of blueberry pancakes, maple syrup, and G. The end. Good night.